In this video, we are showing you three intermediate and advanced bachata sensual turns that will make sure that you stand out at your next social party. So let's go. So we start with the Madrid step in one, two, three, tap. So as you saw, our first step is diagonally backwards for the leaders, for the followers is diagonally forward. So we go one, two is on the spot and we turn back in two. And now we walk diagonally in three and tap. In the Madrid step, the leaders are walking next to the followers. So we're not here walking in front of her, but to the side in one two three tap and now we do a stop and turn so we go in five and from here we turn her the lady or the follower to the other side in six and seven and eight and we do the arm breaker so guys make sure that when we are here in four and we go in five that we right away want her to turn on six to the other side in six seven Eight. And the other turn is that we keep doing our basic step on the spot and the same for the followers. The follower has to do their normal steps in the turn. So when we are here, we go five on six, we turn completely on the right leg and we do the turn seven and tap on eight. So guys, in seven and eight, together with the turn, we have to prepare the other turn. So here it's five, six, seven and eight. Eight. In eight, we need to bring this arm down all the way, all the way inside until we have contact here with our forearm and her biceps. Because from here is where we're leading the next turn. And we need to be as close to her body as possible because from here we let go the hand and we go in one, two, three, tap. So leaders, make sure to really lead with this side to have the connection here and of course to raise your elbow so that she actually has space. Because if you wanna turn her from here like this, it's not working. You have to go like this, okay? So that she has space and you can control her turn more that way instead of just like this, okay? <laughs> yeah, the follower, we have to be careful that we really push our arm against his because otherwise he will just move our arm, but we want to move him our upper body. So we have to block here and then he can lead the turn. Another important thing is that you keep your hips kind of straight and you don't push them forward or backwards. So when you turn, you cannot turn like <laughs> this. This will make it a lot harder. Really try to maybe go more into the knees a little bit and work with your upper body to go down. So let's do it counting from this point of view in one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, Tap and turn her outside. Yeah. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you can show me how to love. Maybe I'm going through withdrawals. You don't even have to do too much. You can turn me on with just a touch. Baby, since it is going through. So we start in the shadow position. We do a basic in one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to do our basic kind of like a Madrid step. So first we start with one going diagonally back and rotating our body in one. On two, we are closing the step and now looking forward again in two. On three, now we're going diagonally forward to the other side in three. And together with our step, we start going up. So we start doing a bolero, we start breathing in and preparing the turn in three. And then on four, we're not tapping, but we're, all, we're just going more up and up and up because on five is when we start now turning. So on five, we do go in five, okay? This means that the leaders already opened the step here and we started turning the follower with our arm over here. So not with the hand here trying to push or something and also not with this one, but with this part, we bring it up and from the shoulder space, so from here on five is how we're turning her. And now from here, we're going to continue the turn by bringing her a little bit down, raising our arm, grabbing this one, because on six, we are going into the body wave in seven and eight, in seven and eight, and then one, two. So let's do it one more time. We go in one, two, breathe in, and five, change the weight to the front or to the right side for the leaders and do the body wave. For us leaders, it's a side wave now. In seven, and for the followers, a normal body wave. Eight, one, two. For the follower, it's very important that we keep the tension here on our arms. So when we realize, we go back. And now when we go up and forward, that you keep your position and that you not already think that you have to turn and make yourself small. You still in this rotation, you have to keep your frame, which means you're here and you give tension here to his arm so he can turn you. And here you have to be careful that you offer him the arm, but that you don't do it by yourself. You cannot hook because maybe he will need something different. So you really have to wait that he grabs your arm and he takes you here. The other thing is, <laughs> when you come here, really close your uh, head. So you don't make yourself small like this, but you're here a little bit like straight and you bring your chin to your chest so you can come down under this arm. And the last thing is when we're here down, we go up on the body weight. So we're not staying down and we go, down, <laughs> but from down, we go up again and we breathe in, and now we can breathe out and come down for the body weight. So from this point of view, with counting in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. If you're liking the video so far and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do it now. Do it now because you're gonna forget later. And also, thank you so much for everybody that has bought us a coffee, given us a super thanks, or has become a Patreon. And if you wanna become a Patreon or support the channel, make sure to check the link down below. But now, let's continue with the video. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you can show me how to love. Maybe I'm going through withdrawals. You don't even have to do too much. You can turn me on with just a touch. So we're adding a head roll at the end of our turn, and this is pretty straightforward. We start in the open position, prepare the followers turn in three and four. We start the turn, we let this hand go in five, six, and when the follower is giving us her back, we already have our hand here for contact, because from here, she finishes the turn and we lead the head roll. But we need to make sure that we have it on the right time. So in seven, in six, the hand is here, and in seven, we continue in seven, and she already got the impulse for the head roll. And then we just close in eight. One more time, we go in one, two, three, four, five. Hand and lead eight. So for us followers, it's very important that we really keep the tension in our arm and that we keep our posture. Because when he wants to start leading and you only think, oh, it's a normal turn and you're very loose here, there's no way that he can bring your upper body into the diagonal so you can do the head roll, okay? So we do the turn and we are here in our tension and this is where your upper body starts and going down 
and up. Yeah. So like she said, it's a double leading. So we're not only leading with this hand and we're not only leading with this one. We're leading with both because as we are here leading the turn, we're also leading a little bit the head roll with this hand because this hand ends up coming a little bit from here down. And it's not like it's staying here up and I'm turning here only with this one. So it's from here in three, four, five, six, down and press. So it's a light press when she's here. When she's here, it's a light press with this arm here, but it's not too much. We don't want her to go down like this. It's just so that she knows that she needs to do a head drop. This also gives you a lot of stability so you don't feel like you're falling somewhere. So counting from this point of view, in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and let us know down below. Subscribe to our channel, check out these other videos that you are going to love. See you there.